Is he? Put all the right labels on. But you're not wearing a cap back to front. Now what? Is that uncool now? What? Is that uncool to wear it back to front? <laughs> is it? Shut up! <laughs> was it cool to wear a cap? Well, I never thought it was. Did well, you? I, I don't know. I just like wearing caps, really, so I don't mind. Do you want to? Just, just quite turn the camera around and we can see all these kids outside screaming their heads off. <laughs> For you! <laughs> For you and Duncan over there. Are you getting used to this? Nah, I, just, I didn't think there'd be many people here today, actually. They all say that. Oh. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? All right, all right, now listen, you mentioned labels. Are yeah. labels really... Sort of the right labels are really important. They are important, and it's, I think it's a difficult thing for parents to understand why one label is right and the other one is wrong. And at the end of the day, some of them do cost a lot of money, and I don't have the answer to that. Um, but I will say that you know um, that is the best way that young young people have. And I'm not. Um, I don't mean that you're a young person. I mean, we're talking about children here that yeah. have of expressing themselves. And to just stamp on it and not give them any leeway at all is really wrong. On my school report, I had will not get a good job by worrying about being the most fashionable person in the school. <laughs> <laughs> My school report said it will, it will insist on wearing coloured shirts. Well, that was a big happened? rebellion. You I mean, know. you, you actually it. tried, and then, you know, I, I was brainwashed. Made a bit of an effort with the, sh with the tie, I can see yeah, that. But it's, really, I, it's a bit strange. Very, sad, it's it's very old tie, it. that. <laughs> very old tie. <laughs> right, okay. Declan. Declan. You come on down. Duncan, of course, in Biker Grove. Are these your own clothes? They are. I've actually got a confession to make about this. What? I, so I thought I'd get changed when I came up to the studio, and I, these are actually the first thing I, I saw when I woke up this morning. It's all right. So they're uh, don't lie. Yeah, you think it's good, mate. No, honestly, just because Rich and Junior are going to criticise what you wear. <laughs> no, I woke up and this is the I so I went. Mm, mm, mm. I was half seven and I went mm, mm, and just put these on. So, uh, well, the trousers are okay, aren't they? They're cool. Yeah, the same as mine, mate. They're all right. Yeah. So, uh, I don't see why anybody could possibly have a problem with such sensible, functional u utility gear. Yeah. That's, that's, you. that's code for uh, that's not very interesting. No, it's not. No, it's not. Leave them alone. <laughs> All right, no, you look great. Where about you get your clothes from, mostly, then? Uh, sometimes we get them from a shop called Maverick in Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, does that this type of gear. Yeah. Or wherever we can, really. Bond in, mm. in London. He's a sort of Michael J. Fox figure. He looks really... You yeah. do look uh, a bit like him, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think you should take that down. <laughs> it's a bad thing. What happened to him? <laughs> We've got Emily here, who's 11 years old. Oh, and she's the daughter of Michelle de Trice. Emily! Hello. And Evelyn Woodward. Hello. Because your mum's on later. I like that. She looks great. This looks fantastic. Um, and when well. Emily's mum saw she went, oh, you're not wearing those awful shoes again, are you? Um, I think they're wonderful. That is the correct thing to be wearing with that. And the very fact that Emily, at so young, is kind of showing this incredible flair yeah. and this sort of creative um, event, it's just something that should only be encouraged. Can you see a full length shot? Just we get the full effect. You, there we are, right. Did you nice. choose those clothes yourself? Um, yes. All well, of them? Yes, yeah. Was your mum, obviously your mum was with you when you got them on or not? Um, yes, she was. And she did didn't she, really like them that much. She didn't, but she let you get them? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sensible mum. I think it's great. I think you look wonderful. Really good. I love that fairy skirt. I think it's fabulous. And who else? Sarah. Where's Sarah? Here we are. Come down. Are those, those your own clothes? Oh, Sarah. Now, if I were your mum, I'd be saying you are not going out like that. It's a stock. Well, you're you're 14, like aren't you? Yeah. And your mum's Irene, she works on our switchboard, and she's, had some, she's worn some racy gear on this programme, actually, so she can't <laughs> yeah. you know. um, But I think that that's actually what you said is the key to it. We all forget that we've, we've all done it ourselves. And it was, I used to wear my platform shoes to school, take them in a plastic bag, cycle to school, and then put them on when I got to the other end. Right. Yeah. You know, I had my parents actually said, no way, that would have caused a lot of tension. And I think parents forget that they all did it somehow. Yeah. But your mum doesn't like the she stocking tops. She doesn't like it, but she likes me wearing it. What did she say that she doesn't like? I mean, how did she put it? Did she say, oh, you look a bit, I don't know. Scruffy and Scruffy. common. Hmm. Scruffy and common. Mm. I, I, I'm not, <laughs> common and common. Thank you, Irene. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I would worry about that, but it's, 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 it's pure kind of, you know, safety aspect, I think. On a personal level, I mean, I'm not into stocking tops and short skirts. And so if, uh, you know, if you and I were having a conversation about your wardrobe, I'd have to creatively come up with something else that I felt was just as good, which might involve putting my hands in my pocket. I don't know. Um, but uh, still, at the end of the day, I think that you have a voice and you have to reason with your mum, um, and she clearly does let you wear what you want to wear. So, later on in the show, when we come back to this, you're going to be wearing something different. But well, well, this is the um, Good Morning's kind of compromise, really. This is the bit. This, this, this morning. morning. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 but it is a good morning here on this morning. Okay, go on. I'm just going to have a little blush now. <laughs> it's all right, I like having niggas around. Well done, well done. Give this man a contract. Anyway, we've got a whole...
whole load of clothes, yeah. all, which we're going to sort, of, sort of suggest, you know, and they're sort of cheap high street alternatives. I can't concentrate. Right. <laughs> give them a choice. Give them a choice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, honestly, we don't. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. When you're this far ahead, you don't care. All right, listen. We're going to check out uh, Karen's work later on. It's really embarrassing. Very easily. You know, some people think that they can't say BBC on ITV. You know, it's kind of like a, a swear word. You just say it all the time. She works for the BBC. <laughs> yeah, she does. And we love the clothes show. Right, listen, uh, you'll be back later then, right? You'll give them a good choice. I might do. I might have gone oh, home. Oh, you might go home. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. I might go to the other side. It's time to get down there. Anyway, listen, Robert Carey's uh, Thursday recipe now. He's, uh, he's cooking today for a rare species of bodybuilder. It's uh, Bruce Leader. He's a vegetarian muscle man. I'm not a great one for physical exercise. <laughs> I, mean, I, I like Same as he is now. All oh, right. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey, man. Hey, yeah, like it. <laughs> and they, a bit of and they like you. it too. What's like going on? I mean, Anne's wearing more of the same. You didn't really have to worry about any parental approval. So yeah. uh, we've got some Komodo see shirts. Sorry. So we can see yeah. Komodo shirt and jacket. And the trousers are a render, and that is the Jamiroquai range. And um, the clothing made, made by Jamiroquai is donated to Greenpeace, some of the um, proceeds. Right. Actually. We couldn't part them with the hat. So I love the hat. Is that, I like the hat. Is that your hat? No, it's not. Do you wear stuff like that? Can I kind of have it? Can kind I of have it? <laughs> no. All right. It's all far too expensive. All right then, let's see what Deccan's wear. Well, this is how Deccan looked earlier. <laughs> <laughs> now he was very he was very embarrassed because he said he genuinely, <laughs> genuinely just kind of grabbed the first thing out of the drawer this morning he when did he came actually, up here. He thought he would have time to get changed. Really? Uh, and he did. Well, he is now. Hey! hey. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That is good. That is a good one. Very, very smart, isn't it? Feel like it? Yeah, like yeah. we do the twirl again. So yeah. you feel like we quite like that. Uh, three, Thank two, you. one. Thank you very much. I've been practicing that backstage, actually. <laughs> and Declan is now um, a signed-up house model for Joe Blogs. Yeah. He's wearing, <laughs> he's wearing all Joe Blogs gear. But again, it's not obviously Declan has a, doesn't have a problem with what his mum thinks he should wear. So he just dipped into the styling box and pulled out what he fancy. So it's all from Joe Blogs. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about um, Joe yeah. Blogs, though, is it's dead cheap, isn't it? Everything there you've got, but the jacket, the top and the cords, they're all twenty nine ninety nine, aren't they? Are they? That's not what it didn't, says on my thing, does it? Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> Oh no, you're right. 20, 29.99 for the jacket, 22.99 for the top, 29.99 for the courts. Yeah. I'll be down at your blogs this afternoon, I tell you. <laughs> no, that looks really good. Okie doke. Right, now Emily, a little bit earlier on, much to her mum's disgust, note Doc Martins if we actually do manage to see them. There we are, yes. But we yeah. thought she looked absolutely smashing, and I think for an 11 year old that shows a huge sense of style. Absolutely. Thank you. So does her mum, it had to be said. She just seemed to have a problem yeah, with the boots. With the boots. Um, but really, we've we sort of used. Um, and look. Um, to, to sort of come up with a, a look, which, I mean, maybe um, Emily's mum is kind of fine about what she wears, but other parents might be a, a little bit more worried about the kind of more extreme styles. But yeah. both these items are kind of from, you know, really mainstream shop. We're talking CNA and Mark Suspenser. Well um, and the boots are also from Mark Suspenser. And Emily likes a boot. And quite frankly, I think you know where you are with a sensible shoe. Yeah. <laughs> just just, just, just put your trousers up a bit, Emily. <laughs> so we can say, oh, oh, they're nice, aren't they? Now, they're nice. Now, do you think your mum will like those better than the, the, the Doc Martens? Yes, probably. Will she? Why? You think? Because they just look a bit smarter? Yes. Why doesn't so she like the DMs? Do you know? Um, I just think, she just thinks they look scruffy. I don't know why. What do you think about that outfit? Um, I like the dress and the shoes, but I don't really like the trousers. Don't you? No. Yeah. Would you wear the dress without the trousers underneath? Yes, just the tights yeah. and the boots? Yeah. yeah. She knows what she likes, doesn't Exactly. Yeah, no, I admire that. Eye. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's get Sarah in finally. Sarah was in, oh no, let's sorry, see how what she was wearing earlier. Right now, this was what drove her mother wild. Her mother does not like the stocking tops. Sarah does. Age 14. Age 14. <laughs> What's the compromise? Let's have a look. Well, oh, Sarah still right. has the short skirt which she likes, and this time we've put it with a pair of trousers, and all this is by Miss Selfridge. Yeah. And I have to say, I can see, speaking to Sarah's mum, I can see where she's coming from. There's that kind of Lolita angle, which is very difficult to explain to young women. Yeah. You know, it's a very complicated thing. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we've uh, reached a goal. What does Sarah think? Do you like the... Nice, yeah. I mean, we've got the short skirt, but then we've got the trousers too, so she's got suitably covered. Yeah. But do you, do you prefer the other look, the, the, the stockings and all the rest of it? Um, I don't know. Well, it's an, it's an alternative, isn't it, basically? Yeah. Well, the thing is, you see, your mum could take you to visit your granny dressed like that, and I doubt she could the way you wear before. And my nan doesn't like it, I she your, said. Your mum doesn't like it? My nan doesn't like it. it. Oh, your nan doesn't like, like it? Doesn't like what? The stockings. Stop the stockings. No, no, that's what we said, yeah. yeah. But that looks good. Okay. 
Well, well done. I think, I think honestly, you said you, you, you didn't want to go for a compromise solution, but you have, actually, I think. Well, I've made a bit of an effort, but I got on the phone to um, Anne and Nick, and they, t- you know, they, t- <laughs> <laughs> they gave you instructions, did they? <laughs> but let's talk about you two, because you've been modelling for us all morning, and we haven't actually had a chance to talk Can to you. Can we plug our album? Yes, yeah, come on. Now's the time. Plug now's the time. We've been waiting for then. OK, yeah. uh, plug. Tell us about the album. <laughs> well, uh, the album's coming out on the 7th of November. Yes. Um, it's called Psych. It's called Psych. Why? What's why? Well, shake. Why not? It's, why not? No, shake yeah. type of means like not. You know, like Wayne and Garth in, in Wayne's World when yeah. they go yeah. not that yeah. type of thing. But that's what it means, really. How do you spell it? P S Y C H E. Right, psych means not. Means so not. So we said know, this like, has been a great show today. Psych. That means it's been. It's been a terrible Richard's got day. it. Richard's got okay. it. <laughs> so uh, we've it's called it because that's really we don't take ourselves that seriously with. No. With so, anything. Can so, you tell? <laughs> so, uh, so you're saying it's not a good record? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying sure it's not a good record. Uh, Psych. Ah, yeah, you get it, it. you get it. Up. Okay, well, <laughs> well, tell us about the tracks on it. I mean, what's the sound? How would you describe it? Um, it's sort of a... Uh, it's the same sort of sound as, as Let's Get Ready to Rumble and this. And there's a lot of, like, there's a couple of ballads we do. It's not like ballads, it's more like American Swing Beat, mm-hmm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. And we've got a, a, a new ballad coming out. And the 21st of November, actually, funnily enough, for the Christmas mm-hmm. called An Eternal Love. And that's the first song that we're actually singing on, right. that, um, that we haven't been rapping all the way through, that we're right. actually doing some singing on this one. And you're on tour as well? And we, we're on tour at the minute, just like all over the place, really doing whatever we can. Uh, and then hopefully a bigger tour next year. So tell us, young, young men, <laughs> what, is, what does the future hold? I mean, so what are you going to be doing in five years? Are you going to give up the, the, the TV and all that and just go for the pop? Um, it's, I'm, I'm going to be working for Channel 4, right? It's going, going to be called Ant and Deck, and it's going to be on the same time as this is on. <laughs> when are we going to get to clean up? Yeah? What are you going to call it? You can't call it This Morning or Good Morning no. or Top of the Morning or uh, GMTV. Mm. Go on. Psych. 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 <laughs> it's the afternoon <laughs> show, Psych. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good idea. All right, listen. All right. Good luck. You're going to you. sing for us. Yeah. We are, yeah. Take us out. Okay, you get, ready. Get, get ready. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, Thanks for doing a sterling Thank job. You. Um, they're going to sing us out in just a second, if you can hear them through the screens. We've got Scylla on the show tomorrow, also Chloe Newsom, Coronation Street's Vicky and Richie from Let Loose. They'll all be on a direct line to you in a sort of wannabe phone and you can find out how you can become as famous as they are. I think you need to work on your popularity level, guys. I mean, I'm you know, sorry, it's, it's, you know, a bit, bit yeah. down out there. Anyway, listen, Brian Turner's uh, Sunday lunch menu tomorrow, all for under 10 quid, family four, and the man who sees into the future. He has predicted air crashes and murders, and he's now one of the police's best friends. So we'll see you with him tomorrow, but we'll leave you with uh, PJ and Duncan, and if I give you my number. Bye-bye. We'll Bye-bye, have tomorrow. a good day. Gonna make a story, gonna make a move. Gonna make a start, gonna make a move. Oh, gonna make a start, gonna make a move. I rip on the screw tip As I flip, hold on quick Don't let me slip, get a grip Get a grip on reality I'll make you dizzy, wanna get busy Give it a hop, give it a pop I'm so full of sensuality No backtracking, cause I ain't slacking So listen to the lines I'm stacking If I give you my number Will you call? Will you call? Will you call? Check you out on the floor, you move like a snake Kissing, what am I missing? Give it a hump, give it a pump, slow kissing Sharp as a razor, I wanna amaze ya Burn like a laser Pick up, start up, straight up if you're fed up Get up, get up, I won't let up If I give you my number Words, the rhythm, the rhyme, four, better, four, worse.